and we're singing our, about our 70th concert in about 27 weeks. That's how difficult, how, how, how busy we are. And I can tell you now that the attendance at concerts, which we average about three times a week, and rehearsals that are twice a week, the average attendance is well over 90%. speaking to them, <laughs> and particularly a Lancastrian who's uh, president of a Welsh Mail Boys Choir, but uh, that's the case tonight. And it's my very happy and pleasant duty on behalf of the Fenderlis Choir and all their ladies to say a very big thank you to you as a society for <coughs> very kindly and very generously putting on this uh, evening's uh, function for our benefit, not for yours, for ours. And we thoroughly enjoyed being here. We had a marvellous meal. Um, we enjoyed hearing your choir sing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing us sing in the first half. I'm sure you will in the second. Um, and uh, probably enjoy it even more when the official concert's over. And the choir is forming up. I think I should tell you of another rule we have in the choir and has been for the 37 years. <coughs> there is a no drinking rule. <laughs> Before concerts. <laughs> but there was a special dispensation tonight that would allow half <laughs> <laughs> or thereabouts. And in the 37 years I've only had to sack one person. And that person happened to be on his very first concert. When I arrived at the concert hall, the secretary came over and he said, I think you better go down to the bar. There's somebody there who'd like to see you. So I went down to the bar and there was this new member with a half pint. I said, well, you were at the rehearsal on Wednesday, you heard the rule. He said, but it's only half. I said, well, that's your first one and your last one. Goodbye. And that's the only one we've had to sack. He said, yeah, yeah. but... <laughs> Start quaking. These blokes will drink anybody under the table. <laughs> Good. 
holding hold it. Uh, I'll tell you what it did. It found it. The concert can go on. <laughs> I used to teach. And uh, one of the set works in the A level courses at the last few years of my purgatory. <laughs> Retirement is great. <laughs> the money's not good, but retirement is great. Um, one of the set works was, and I had a class of five uh, young people, eight, 17, 18, 19 year old, and one of the set works was Beethoven's uh, Emperor Piano Concerto. <clears throat> and the second moment is so very beautiful. Now what I tried to put over to you is this, that these were young, young teenagers having to listen to um, Beethoven's music over and over and over being analysed this way up, that way up, sideways, you name it. And they, they, did, they never tired of it. And one afternoon we were going through a certain section of it and I could hear the sound of the sound of the choir as background. What we've done is we've taken the second subject from the second movement, the slow movement of the Emperor Piano Concerto and set it to the words, Jesus, you lover of my soul. It is different. Hope you enjoy listening to it.
darkness when you leave me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 